Greetings! In today's video, I will be unboxing a very special palette and some extra stuff from Studio of MM. I wanted to feature this as a sort of unboxing because I've been asked a lot about empty Gensai paint pans and palettes, and this is exactly what this video is about. I'm also really happy to feature Studio of MM because they are Canadian, like me. <laughs> so I always enjoy supporting local businesses. The first thing I am unpacking here is a 3D printed palette that is stackable and comes with a lid. And it is sort of highly customizable because you can always purchase more tiers. So you can end up with a pretty substantial stack of trays. Each one of these tiers can fit 12 Gansai paint. Also, for each set of two trays or tiers, you get a small bag of putty or poster tack to attach your pans in the trays so they don't move around. This is my preferred way of attaching loose pans in palettes, if I can, because it is a non-destructive way of securing your pans. Each tier fits 12 Gensai pans. When it comes to filling the trays or the tiers, Studio of MM has multiple options. The one I chose to complement this palette is that I got 12 empty Gansai paint pans that are also 3D printed by Studio of MM. So everything all works together. They are really super nice and sturdy. They're sturdier than the Gansai pans that I have that have paint in them. It's a really nice white plastic. Everything that I got here is white plastic. As it's 3D printed, you can see a bit of the texture of the printing, but it's not something that bothers me. Also, the bottom of the tray and the bottom of the pans, they have this texture on them. It's basically really shallow, small lines. I'm curious to see if this texture will help everything stay in place, either the paint in the pans or the pans that I will attach to the tiers. I wanted to test it quickly, so I took out the first Gansai paint set that I could spot, and I took out the pans, and I just checked quickly if they fit in the trays, and they fit perfectly. You can have 12 pans on each tray, and since many Gansai sets come with six colors in them, that's a really nice, convenient number. It's really satisfying. <laughs> I really love how the large pans fit in this tray. It's not tight, but it's not loose either. It's it's like exactly what you want it to be, or what I want it to be. While I had the filled pans with me, I took one of each, one of the 3D printed ones that are empty, and one of the filled one, and I compared quickly the measurement, and they're basically the same. All in all, the palette and the tiers are a really nice way to store Gansai paints, and since it has a lid, everything is protected from dust, which is really appreciated. Not just dust, but, you know, cat hair. <laughs> I think it's a very manageable format and very easy to customize. They stack super well, and since you end up stacking them, they don't take that much space. While I was looking for this specific palette for Gansai paints, I got another really neat thing from the shop. I saw that they have these portable little folding extra missing areas palettes. Does that make sense? <laughs> I've been looking for something like this for a while. To put it in context, whenever I use one of the smaller palettes I have or one of the travel palettes I have, they often have such limited mixing space that it's really difficult to use in a way. I always have to remove a mix, make another one, and then remove that one to make the one that was there before, and it's just not efficient, and I don't like it. So when I saw these very minimal, portable mixing spaces. It's a palette, but not a palette in the sense where you have the paints on it. You know, it's one of those palettes where you would mix your paints. I'm really excited about this. I'm really eager to try it. It closes with small magnets that are inserted in the palette, and the hinges are a tiny bit stiff, but I expect it to become looser as I use this more. For someone who's always running out of mixing space, this is such a great idea. I love it so much that I got two of them. Now, I have yet to put everything to the test, but at first glance, everything looks so nice. It's a good thickness of plastic, it, everything looks sturdy, and I'm super excited to try it all out. To all the other people who, like me, were trying to find 
Gansai pans that are empty, our pallets to house their Gansai pans. I hope this video will be helpful. I'll have all the links to Studio of MM in the description. Please check it out. It's a small shop, so it's always a good thing to encourage small shops. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.